What's up fellow tech smashers, I'm back again here with another video and you guessed what this is, this is the iPhone 5s and these are some iOS 7 tips and tricks that you may or may not know about. Alright so you probably know some of these tips and tricks from just using the phone or you might have read the blog post I did with some of these included, I'll leave a link to that down below but let's get to it. So first up I'll show you how to stop music playback with the timer on your phone. So the first thing you need to do is open the clock app and we will click on when timer ends and instead of choosing a tone we choose stop playing at the bottom of the list and hit set to the top right hand side just go ahead and start your timer and that's it when your timer is done your music will be done playing and this is, ex this is extremely useful for those who listen to music to go to sleep and then you may wake up the next morning with the music still playing so this should solve that problem next up we have timestamps and I'll open messages and show you so you just look at the message you want to know what time it was received or sent and you just swipe left and you'll see the timestamp appear on the right hand side there I'll do that one more time and that's it okay so this one most of you probably didn't know about so instead of going to the app store and downloading a level app for your phone just open your compass swipe left and there's your level the screen will turn green once the phone is 100% level so next time you hang a picture on your wall try using this Next up we have custom vibrations, so head over to settings, scroll down, hit sounds, choose ringtone, vibration, and then create new vibration. Tap the screen in the pattern you want the new vibration to be, hit stop at the bottom right hand side, then hit save at the top right, enter whichever name you'd like, to hit save again, and that's it. Select it and every time your phone rings you'll have your own special custom vibration. Moving on to the camera, most of you probably already knew this but you can use the volume up button as a shutter button for the camera and you can hold it down to get boost mode. And that's it. Next up we have shake to undo. So I'll open messages and let's say I was to reply to this message and I don't like this message, I just shake the phone, hit undo and it's gone. Let's try that one more time. Type a message, sh hit, shake the phone, hit undo, and it's gone. Next up, we have passcodes. So head over in settings, go to touch ID and passcode. In previous versions of iOS, this may be under general. Enter your passcodes, and you'll see some options here. Head straight down and turn off simple passcode. Enter your passcode one more time, and now you can have a word as your password. So. This might be much safer but it's also very tedious to ha having to type a word every time you want to unlock your phone. And lastly, if you want your phone to charge extremely fast, just swipe up that control center, turn on airplane mode and put it to charge. So that's about all the tips I had for you today. I hope it was useful, I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a comment down below, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.